I feel like with music, you pretty much, it's going to be hard to stump me. <laughs> yes. In music. Um, for yes. For whatever reason, because I'm so experienced. We, yes. We, you know, I've been doing this forever. We've seen a lot, you know. Yes. But you could, you could stump me in law so that I'd have to go learn something new or retool or ask some money. And I, I never felt like I was on top of the hill with it. Um, mm. Mm-hmm. Not that one has to be on top of the hill, but as far as being able to handle any kind of situation, I would go back and play music and go, I got that. Uh, you know, that's, it's just like breathing, isn't it? Don't you it's feel that way, Lionel? Totally. Not that I've ever put it down for a, a long period of time, but you go back to it and it's still a fit. Yes. And, you know, it. it's, uh, you put your finger down on the third fret on the E string, it's going to be a G every time, <laughs> every time. assuming you're in tune. That's good. You know? I love that. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think just part of the certainty of it is the word. I can count on this. Yeah, it's like, I got yeah. this, and it's going to always be there for me. How did re-entering music, even though maybe your session biz wasn't what it was or you weren't playing on records, but was there a freshness to it again? Like, how does that feel re-entering yes, something the, you love so much? My little bit of burned-outedness yes, yes. <laughs> from the early That's 2000s what I'm getting was at. gone. It was gone. And so all of a sudden I'm back in there and Steve Henson's playing steel and he's cracking me up for three straight hours, you know, or <laughs> whatever. The, you know how all these guys are. Just, right. There's so many terrific personalities and they were still there doing it. Uh, and a lot of younger guys too. That's another right. thing that, that isn't that happened. fun? That's I fun. love. Yeah. Yes, it's a lot and, of fun. Uh, there's man, some great drummers and stuff. Evan Hutchings, like there's mm. a lot of great musicians out there. So I came back in, and I sort of let it be known after the law firm split up, and I started doing my own solo practice. I made the decision I'm going to tell people that I'm back playing sessions, and I'm going to prioritize it. And, mm. you know, I can work my law thing around music. So I got back in there, yeah, and just, uh, just the pure joy. Mm. And I was feeling it again, feeling the old, wow. feeling my old uh, love for it real strongly. I love that. Yeah, me too. The songs are, are all different. You know, it's, the things have changed since 2000. So there was new right. challenges. Um, yeah, man, I just love it. I just feel I'm, a, I'm at home there. Yeah. You know, I'm just at home. There's no denying it. <laughs> I hear it in your voice. It sounds like you're in a good place. Yeah, I am. I don't know where it's going. Right. All of a sudden, I was more on my own. I started, um, you know, playing for church. <laughs> kind of mm. got, got um, you know, my faith was growing. Yes. Because my, my aloneness was yes. so much bigger. Um, so I started just feeling invigorated from the inside out from wow. that, too. And with some new, you know, so good. new great young friends in the worship team at my church. You know, just just the, huh. just the joy of, of being around them. And um, maybe this time uh, I'm less, it's less about Allison trying to climb the ladder. You know, this mm. time it's more like... Mm. Allison trying to find where she fits in and and can contribute and still make a living is really where. And you're good with that. I'm good with it. Climbing ladder is a great thing, but as an end to itself, it's mm-hmm. kind of you can get yourself yes. down some dark roads if you do yes. that. You know. So I, anyway, that all that I loved it when I was doing it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Mm-hmm. You know, got to play on records. And so I have nothing against that era at all. I, I look back on it so fondly. I look mm-hmm. back on the initial part of law fondly, the f- first few years of practicing. I think maybe it's meant to be that I started, you know, deciding that maybe I didn't fit that. I think there's there's something out there for me still that's really positive, and I'm not exactly sure what it is, mm-hmm. but I, I feel strongly it's in music. Well, you use the words joy and uh, just that you love doing it. And I love that it's free from just that heavy ambition. Not that there's not a time and a place for that. There exactly. is. But uh, we're at the season where, um, I, I don't know about you, I enjoy mentoring. Yes. I have a mentoring group that I want you to speak at I'd sometime. I have a young artist mentoring group that uh, just 
keeps me kind of in touch with the young side of things. Oh, yeah. I'd love it. And just breathes creativity back into me. But, uh, Allison, thank you. It's so You're so inspiring. Um, and for me, just the takeaway is that you kind of don't fear when something changes, you know, or when you're— you're willing to say, you know what, this is depleting me more than filling me. Yeah. And yeah. That's, that can be a scary place, but I really believe for anybody, if you're willing to just go there, it will lead to doors that you never imagined. I totally believe it. If you're following your heart and your, your spirit and, mm-hmm. you know— Something good, good is bound to happen. But it always, if you just keep going, yeah. right? Well, each of my, each of my changes was because something was out of whack, mm. and so then you have to pay pay attention to it. You know, it does take courage. Um, I I almost think even a certain naivete about it has yeah. always helped me. Oh yeah. So but thank that, you so much, Allison Prestwood. I know that you've enjoyed hearing this uh, amazing lady's story and. Uh, We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you. It was great.